us. A series of meetings are taking place this month. The search committee wants to hear from you. Now your sides, Aaron Dean, attended tonight's community listening session. And Aaron, not a lot of faces in the crowd tonight. Ken Shayla, tonight was the community's opportunity to voice their opinion on what they would like to see out of the next chancellor. Only one person outside of the committee attended the meeting, but they held the meeting anyway since they are on a tight timeline for the search for the school's next leader. This committee was formed back in November of last year with one goal, to find the best applicant for the job of chancellor of ECU. Questions were prepared ranging from what character traits are needed for the next chancellor to level of experience and even suggestions for the search committee. One person spoke today and she says this area is unique and needs a professional who understands that. I would just like to see somebody from this area who knows the people because it's a really unique environment, I think, compared to other professionals in higher ed and student affairs that I worked with over 30 years. We have a really unique situation that doesn't necessarily transfer readily to common perceptions of higher ed because of where we're located. In-person sessions isn't the only way the committee is getting input. They have also sent out online surveys to be filled out. Committee leadership tell me that around 3,600 surveys have been completed. Throughout this month, these sessions are happening all over the state. And for a full list of when and where these meetings will be happening, you can visit our website, WNCT.com. In the studio, Aaron Dean, 9 on your side.